Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Corsa Performance Extreme Dual Rear Exit Exhaust System with black tips, fitting 2021 and newer 5 liter F 150s, excluding the tremor. If you're on the hunt for some raucous sound and a high quality exhaust system, then this setup from Corsa is going to be just what you're looking for. Featuring high quality materials and some neat technology to keep away drone, this is going to give you all the noise you want without any drawbacks. Now, there's no getting around it as the name implies, and as you've already heard, this one is loud. Loud enough to get a very strong four out of five on our loudness meter, so don't say we didn't warn you, though you might wanna go ahead and warn your neighbors. But if you want all that volume with a good tone out of your exhaust, Corsa has got you covered here. This is Corsa's extreme level, meaning that you're gonna get a lot more noise versus stock. And again, as the name implies, and as you heard from the clips at the beginning of the video, this one's got a lot of bark to it. Much louder than your stock or even Corsa's own sport series. It's got a really deep verbal at idle, and when you really lay into it, you may even get some snaps on the upshift. Now, of course, more volume outside means more volume inside too, as always. And this is gonna give you some more volume than your standard exhaust because of its design. Corsa does claim that it will be noticeable, especially versus your stock setup, but it's not gonna be too much. And you also don't get any drone with this system. Now, Corsa has packed their RSC or reflective sound canceling technology inside of the muffler here. This technology has been around and in use by Corsa since 1998, and it utilizes different specifically designed channels within the muffler for each vehicle. So it's going to eliminate the frequencies that cause that head pounding drone that you can sometimes get with aftermarket systems. However, as you can hear, this has got a lot of resonance to it. So it's not gonna mute the sound. You're gonna get a really pleasant tone with that additional volume without the literal headache. This is also a dual rear exit setup, meaning that the tips are gonna exit straight out of the back under your rear bumper. And you get this really nice kind of glossy black finish on the tips. So it gives you a really cool aggressive look too. And these are much bigger than anything you're gonna get stock. So between the look of these guys and the sound, there's absolutely no way you're gonna miss this exhaust. The other big highlight here though is the material quality. And this is all made from high quality T304 stainless steel, which is about the best you're gonna get on any exhaust system. And it's pretty apparent how nice this one is the moment you take it out of the box. Everything's got a nice finish to it. There's no weird creases and all the welds look pretty nice too. All the piping here is three inches in diameter and it's all mandrel bent too. So again, gonna make for a nice smooth flow of exhaust. And overall, it's just a nice looking bit of kit. The tips that we were just talking about are a dual wall T304 stainless design with that PVD black finish. So everything that you see here is gonna stand up as well as it possibly can to the elements and it should resist rust and corrosion quite well. As far as price, this one is gonna come in at about $1,500, and that puts it pretty much smack dab in the middle of the category. However, this is, again, a really high quality system, and you've got some good technology behind it to make it pleasant to live with. So if you want what is pretty much the ultimate sound out of your Coyote F-150, this is definitely gonna be worth the price of entry, and it's gonna far undercut a lot of the other options and still give you that sound without sacrifice. Only thing you'll have to sacrifice, as a matter of fact, is some time to get it installed. Speaking of which, this is gonna get the standard two out of three wrenches and should take you about two hours to complete. Just like any exhaust, this can be a little bit finicky to do in your driveway because there are quite a few pieces here and because of space constraints, especially if you're not working on a lift. However, this is a totally bolt-on system. It's gonna utilize all of your factory exhaust hanger locations and it comes with all the necessary clamps and hardware included, even new hangers for those rear pipes and new isolators to go with them. So again, everything is there in the box, making it a job that you can definitely accomplish at home. And to show you exactly what's involved, let's head over to the install bay. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, a 13 and 15 millimeter wrench, an exhaust hanger remover, an extension, a 10, a 13, a 15, and a 17 millimeter socket. What's up guys? Today we're installing an exhaust on our F-150. First, we're gonna watch a short little uninstall video for how to remove the sock exhaust, and then I'll meet you right back here for the install. Start by grabbing your 13 millimeter socket and undoing the two bolts at the flange.
Next, take your exhaust hanger removal tool and get the muffler out of the isolator. Next, we're gonna slide our exhaust towards the tail end so we can get them out of the two additional hangers. And then we're gonna drop the whole exhaust as a full. I grabbed a buddy to help me out with that. So the first thing we're going to do is mount our rear hanger brackets. Now right behind our mount for our rear bumper we have this oval shaped hole. That's where we're going to be installing our hanger. So I've got one of our 13 millimeter bolts through our top hole and then we're going to slide that in. On the back we're going to be using our plate and one of our nuts. And then we're gonna do that same thing for our bottom hole. And then we can use a 13 millimeter socket and 13 millimeter wrench to tighten those down. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So now we can install our front pipe. I've got a pole jack here just to hold everything in place while we line this up. And then we're going to be reinstalling our factory hardware. Now our hardware has been replaced, so instead of the 13 millimeter bolt, we've got a 17 millimeter bolt with a 15 millimeter nut on the back. And now we can take a 17 millimeter socket and 15 millimeter wrench to tighten these down. If you're using your factory hardware, you just need a 13 millimeter socket here. Next, we can install our muffler. So I'm gonna take a clamp and slide that over the edge. And then we can slide our muffler into place. And then we can slide our clamp into position and tighten that down with a 15 millimeter socket. Next, we can install our mid pipe. So we're gonna get another clamp over our muffler outlet. And then we're gonna have to slide our rod into our back hanger. And then we'll slide that into our muffler outlet. And then once we have our pipe slid through both of our hangers and over our muffler outlet, we can slide our clamp into place and tighten that down. And then we can grab our clamp and slide that into place and tighten it down with a 15 millimeter socket. Next, we can install our driver's side over axle pipe. So we'll pop that over our axle, slide one of our clamps over it, and then connect that to our mid pipe. And then we'll slide our clamp into place. Grab a 15 millimeter socket and tighten it down.
Next we can install our driver side tailpipe. So we're gonna grab our rubber isolator and slide that onto the hanger that we installed earlier. And then we'll grab one of our clamps, slide that over the edge of our tailpipe. Slide that hanger into our isolator. And then we'll slide our clamp into place and tighten that down with our same 15 millimeter socket. Now we can do the same thing on our passenger side with our over axle pipe. We'll slide a clamp over the edge. And then raise that up and into place. And now we can grab our clamp, slide that into place and tighten it down with a 15 millimeter socket. Next we can install our rubber isolator onto the hanger that we installed earlier. And then we'll take our tailpipe with a clamp. We'll slide that into our isolator first. And then we'll pick up our clamp off the ground. Slide that into our over axle pipe. And then we'll slide our clamp into place grab our 15 millimeter socket and tighten it down. And now finally we can install our tip. So we'll grab our clamp, slide our tip on. You can adjust this to have as much or as little poke as you'd like. And then we'll just slide our clamp into place and tighten that down with a 15 millimeter socket. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side for our tip. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Corsa Performance Extreme Dual Exhaust System with black tips, rear exit for your 2021 and newer 5.0 liter F-150, excluding the tremor. Thank you for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.